There are things you suspect and then you brush them aside. Things maybe a part of you knows, but to acknowledge them renders your life a lie and then... And then? And then the foundations of everything you've ever depended on. The ground you've moved on, the home you've built for yourself, everything, the walls, the furniture, the air you breathe, everything seems unreal. And you cease to be able to distinguish truth from lies, or, or at least from something you know is not true, an appearance of sorts. Life becomes a little like some horrible fancy dress party and it becomes unbearable. I found something of yours. Of mine? At home. It must have fallen out of your pocket. I was wondering when it was. Three times you've been to our flat. Once, that first time when we'd asked you over so that you could meet Philip. The night we went to that Italian restaurant. Then twice after that. The morning when you came to look at that last batch of illustrations when I couldn't come to yours because I had that awful cold. And then finally the night of the party for the books launch. But that was only for five minutes when you dropped me off and we had a quick brandy. So only three times when I was there. And of course on all those occasions you were only ever in the living room unless of course you visited the bathroom, which to be honest I can't remember. Your gold pen, the one you love so much, the one your sister gave you. It was behind the cushion on the armchair, the green armchair in our bedroom. It must have fallen out of your jacket. You always kept it in the inside pocket, didn't you? Yes. So it must have slipped out. I assume it was the time I'd gone to visit my mother. I was away for at least a week, wasn't I? Take it, Oliver. It's yours. It's your pen. 